Were you sitting on it? No, nobody's been in here. What the frick? It looks like somebody was sitting on oh, it. Why they the lights on behind you. What's up guys, Chris Starr here and welcome back to my channel. So today I have partnered with California Psychics to share with you such an incredible experience that I had with one of their psychic advisors the other day. Times have been hard for everyone, including myself. You guys know that I have gone through so much just with my health and not being able to work because I was sick and then just the anxiety from all of that. It really took a big toll on my mental health. The constant anxiety and uncertainty about my future just because of everything going on in my life is what compelled me to reach out to one of their psychic advisors. And I really wanted to share my experience because I wanna help you guys. I want you guys to be able to go to a psychic advisor and hopefully they can make you feel better about what's going on in your life, just give you some guidance. It's really important to remember that everybody has their own free will, but a psychic advisor is there to help you map out the road in front of you. They're able to give you such amazing insight on things going on in your life, anything that you may be having anxiety about, like how I was. What I loved about my reading is that my psychic advisor was so sweet. She was so compassionate. When I had called in, I was having a really bad anxiety attack. With my recent diagnosis with my health, it's been really hard to cope with where I'm heading. I have a lot of things in the works and she specifically brought up that there are two projects that I've been working on and they are coming to fruition finally. I have planted the seeds and I've worked really hard and they will soon be coming to fruition. She also noted that it's going to be way bigger and way more successful than I could even imagine. I really struggle with confidence, something that you guys don't really know about me. It might seem like I'm pretty confident because I'm sitting in front of a camera all the time, but the reality is I really struggle with that. So for her to tell me that all of my hard work is going to be even bigger and better than what I could even imagine was such a boost of confidence. If you guys have watched some of my recent live streams, you would have heard, but I'm opening up a spiritual Etsy shop. It has been such a dream of mine and I'm so passionate about wanting to help enlighten and guide you guys on your spiritual journey. So I'm really excited to get that started. And I'm even more excited knowing now that all of the hard work that I've been putting in is actually going to be very rewarding and fulfilling. Something that no other psychic advisor has ever done before was constantly check in on how I was feeling throughout the reading. And to me, that shows that she genuinely cares so much about the people that she's connecting with. The psychic advisors on California Psychics can help you with a variety of things. So if you're looking for a little bit more insight, maybe on your love life or with your finances, career, or even if you are looking to connect to a loved one, these psychics are on call 24 seven, available via chat or phone call, whichever you are more comfortable with. Now she did bring up my uncle's name and that means so much to me because he usually comes through when I'm struggling the most. I do believe he's one of my spirit guides and he's always with me. She brought him up by his name. So that is just even bigger confirmation for me knowing that my uncle is there trying to, you know, help give me guidance and give me some more confidence to deal with my health and to continue working on these projects that I have coming up. Now, if you guys are interested in connecting with your very own psychic advisor on California Psychics, you can use my code CHRIS5 to automatically add $5 into your account for your first reading. If you guys do end up getting a reading, please let me know. I would love to know your experience. Comment down below, message me. I really hope it's able to give some of you some guidance and some clarity about some things that you have going on your life that may be giving you some doubts or anxiety or maybe even connect to a loved one. Honestly guys, this has to be one of the best psychic readings I've ever had. There was just so much kindness and compassion from the psychic advisor and that is something that I can just truly appreciate. So thank you so much again California Psychics and let's get into today's video. Back at the Hollywood Roosevelt but for a second time, I'm number two here with uh, special guests. Okay, we have to whisper, we have to whisper though. But we are meeting up with the homie Bill. He is head of security here. Huge shout out to him. He showed us around in my very first Hollywood Roosevelt video. We're gonna get a little uh, sneak peek behind the scenes tour right now. Amazing guy. Amazing. We're gonna get a little tour from him, bringing you guys along, of course. Let's go and see uh, what he wants to show us. Give him a review. Our, oh, yeah. Give him a review on TripAdvisor. He's pretty awesome. If it wasn't for him, uh, this video would not be possible today. Oh my 
my god, it's everything I've always imagined. I honestly, I prefer the Marilyn Monroe suite probably over the penthouse. Mm -hmm. It's it's so cozy. And Marilyn Monroe stayed here. Like, how cool is that? Okay, let's go check out the bathroom. Oh my god, it's so nice in here. Guys, this is where she pooped. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Wow. Would you guys rather stay in the penthouse overlooking Hollywood, or would you stay in the Marilyn Monroe suite? So what a lot of people don't know is that Marilyn Monroe actually lived here, like in this suite. Like this was where she slept. She stayed in here when she first came to Hollywood or when she first got to the Hollywood Roosevelt, and this entire suite is now dedicated to her, which is why it's called the Marilyn Monroe suite, and it has all of her beautiful pictures all over it. Guys, I'm laying on her bed. Let me show you. This is where I caught the shadow of Marilyn Monroe, or who we think was Marilyn Monroe. Clear as day, you could see a black shadow figure. I was standing right here. We didn't actually get to go into the Marilyn Monroe suite because I don't think so. I think someone was staying in there. I was holding my camera like this, and it was pitch dark back there with just a faint little bit of light. Nobody was back there and it was literally inside of here. It was not on the outside, it was on the inside, and you can tell that it was on the inside. And it just kind of floated right behind me, and it just went from here to there, and it looked like a dainty little black shadow figure, like a little dainty woman. Why is this blue light that keeps following us? Right, it's everywhere we go. So the blue light was on you, and then it was mm -hmm. on me, and now it's right in front of us. In front of Marilyn, too. That's so weird. In front of Marilyn. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. Realize. that she stays in. And we are standing right next to her suite. That it's is like so wild. Like someone taking a photo or like lit up or something. Yeah, it, it almost reminded me of someone taking a photo because it was like a flash. Yeah. It was like a blue flash. Yep, you guys caught that. That's what, that's kind of what everybody was thinking. Crazy. Right now, I'm about to show you guys the trippiest shit. It's like you're in the future in like a space station, okay? I think it's like an art exhibit slash like Omar's so confused. It's so trippy. <laughs> That's what I was saying. It's so artistic. It makes me feel like I'm going into a mental asylum. Yeah, kind of you know kind of the vibes. You know when you're all white and you know what I kind of feel like a like a cartoon. Like it's Yeah. You feel like a comic? Uh, yeah. And it leads to somebody's music studio. I don't know whose though. Like emergency vibes right here. Like a hospital. Push. <gasps> Guys, this is Dr. Wu's uh, tattoo studio. I want to get more tattoos, but I think he's booked out like, I don't know, like years. We're taking a quick break to go get some water because I am so thirsty. What? Nothing is open. Like we literally just ordered Taco Bell and they messed up my Baja Blast and I'm so thirsty. Because I was even feeling, I'm like, oh, I'm always hugging Tiffany and she sheds a lot. <laughs> Omar but, felt like there was a ghost like tickling his ear. Well, it felt like hair. That's what they say it feels like. It's like hair that, you know, it just kind of, you know, when you get that mm -hmm. kind of feeling like there's hair on you, that's what they say it's like when a ghost. My See? whole right leg is right, freezing. Right there. It's, there's like my, some little wait. cold spot, just like you said. No, no, it's like my entire right leg. I'm like, I can't feel it because I'm wearing pants and my whole right leg is, is it and felt like mean? ice. Yeah. What does that mean? Skin. We're getting a lot of activity right now. Cold spots. Hey, and Omar <laughs> is freaking look, out because... Look on my neck because it feels like I have hair on No, like... you don't have hair on your neck. But I'm telling you, the ghost is, is like tickling your ear. So it means something if you feel like a temperature difference, right? But... Somebody's waiting for them to be recognized as an actor. 
somebody is waiting for their name to be recognized as an actor. The first Oscar was. This is where the first, first Oscar, which makes this hotel a historical landmark. This is where the Oscars were, the very first the Oscars? First one, yeah, in 1929. 1929, guys, in this room? I mean, it is pretty freaking fancy, but like, nowadays the Oscars are like, insane like literally insane insanity you guys might have seen but i was peeking in through those doors up there and there was somebody that like walked right across and i caught that on video i don't know who it was i even asked you and you were like nobody would have been up there because nobody's loud up there and i was peeking through the door and it was pretty late at night well, there's only one way in. Well, there's there, um, the, a man in a white suit or a three-piece suit has been seen. And I was peeking through those doors. And I really think I, I saw something. I really got pretty freaked out because it popped up right in front of me. Another death occurred in this room. Bill was here the day that it happened. A man walked in from off the street. He actually wasn't homeless, but he was an older man. And um, the couch was right here, actually. And when I was here, I took a picture on it, and I did include that in my first video here. There was a big blue orb over either me or Ashley, my friend Ashley. I can't remember, but we took a picture right on the couch. The couch is no longer here. They move things around, so it is quite different from what it was about three years ago. Um, Bill did say that the couch is no longer here, so, but yeah, I'm literally standing where the couch was. And where the man, unfortunately, passed away. There's so much energy in here, and I don't think that people really understand how dark Hollywood truly is. What the hell is that? That just moved. That nobody's back there and that just moved. What the f What? Do you guys hear that? Yeah. I've been hearing that too, but you know, I don't know. Well, I could have sworn I saw that um, like brown door right there move and then I heard a knock again, but I don't think anyone's back here. Anyone back there? Yeah, I really could have sworn I saw this move right now. Is there anything back there? Nothing. No one's back here, guys. Chris, did you know that he said Eminem performed right there? Right here. Right there. Is that where Eminem performed? Nothing. Eminem performed right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> The movie Taken, a scene was filmed here. Yeah. Oh God, what a good movie. Best to wear in that right over there on one of the seats. But natural causes. Yeah. Yeah, he just sat down and it was just naturally like, I don't know if he knew it or what, he just came in and sat down. Like he needed to rest like he and he just rest and knew. Sat down and yeah. Unfortunately, when we came up to tell him he couldn't sleep, he, you know, he didn't wake up. Gosh, and that couch is no longer here, right? You got rid no, of it? No, all that's gone, yeah. Because the same couch was still here when I was here last time. Yeah. I still have that picture. It's probably in my first my video. Wendell? We get to go into the theater. It has a secret entrance. I wasn't allowed in here last time because it wasn't open to the public yet. But so many celebrities have been here. Like even modern day celebrities. Not just like Marilyn Monroe and all the people like, you know, in the past. Justin Bieber would come here and get to the bottom. Up until like just before COVID. Your face is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so weird. <laughs> this is weird. Oh my gosh. What are some of the stories? Uh, when did this actually open? Like, the, when was this established? Well, the hotel was built in 1927. The original, so this is the original Cinegrill. With a sign that's on the outside of the hotel it says Cinegrill. See, then that has faded out. And the original name to the Cinegrill was this theater. Of course, it didn't look like this, but it was, this was the Cinegrill. Didn't they used to like hang on the ceilings? Is that what those are for? That's a, that's the, nobody notices that. So. You told me that. Yeah, in 2000, yeah. like about 10 years ago, we used to have a show here with little midgets and stuff. And oh. like, and, uh, oh. uh, um, and like, uh, it was, it was called a madhouse. It's called Beecher's Madhouse. And it, it had people like with dressed up with like big bird outfits and, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. you know, like, like burlesque stuff. girls and. It was a madhouse. I think that's my favorite one so far. What? About the, the littles. 
the littles and how you found Donnie. Oh, little Donnie. Little Donnie. <laughs> he still comes by. Yeah? Yeah, But yeah. they don't work here anymore, right? No. no. Guys, we are in uh, the theater where they used to have these like crazy burlesque burlesque shows they would use midgets which they called littles and they would have them hooked up to the ceiling actually and they would come over and deliver your drink and even take a drink with you but the problem with that is they would get incredibly drunk like incredibly drunk yeah i really wish i could have seen that where you're sitting at was called the bird cage where I'm at? Yeah, they, they themed it and they made it into a bird cage. So that was like an area where you can buy for your friends. It just costs something, whatever. Just I do like birds. It Tiffany's like sitting in the bird cage. They, would, they made it into a cage for birds. Wow. They mm -hmm. removed that cage out by you. Yeah. Wow, you're sitting in the bird cage. The bird um, cage. But seriously, look how cool this place is. Wow. Guys, check out all these mirrors. Omar, what do you think about them? You think, think there's a ghost? I think you might see something if you look hard enough. <gasps> it's Omar's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to the nice floor already. Damn, that's fast. Yes. Guys, this is the floor that we are staying on, and apparently the most haunted floor in the Roosevelt. And it's a funny story the way it happened. We were originally on the seventh floor. At first, we asked them, like, hey, can you give us a haunted room? They're like, dude, all the rooms are haunted here. We didn't know that the ninth floor, though, took the cake when it came to hauntings. We lost power on the seventh floor. We went to, well, these pretty ladies went and complained downstairs. <laughs> and they were like, hey, we're going to upgrade you to a suite and we're going to put you on the most haunted floor. Yep. Do you want to know why it's the most haunted? Do you know why? Is it because of the room across from us? Yes, it is. Someone's staying in that room so we couldn't stay in there. But that's Cliff Montgomery's room and he's a famous trumpet player that lived here. They get a lot of reports of um, trumpets on this floor. And he died in the room. I don't think he, I don't know if he died in there. That's a good question, we should look that up. He didn't specify. They did not specify. This is the room, Cliff Montgomery. But we're staying in this room. Wait, yeah, why don't we like put everything down? And also, now that we're in here, I'm gonna give you guys like a quick little tour. Um, the bed is sick. What? Why is Seriously? the bed messed up though? Are you sitting on it? No, nobody's been in here. What the frick? It looks like somebody was sitting on it. We did not turn this light on. Has somebody been in here? Yeah, but when we first walked in, the, everything was dark, but the bathroom light was on, and it yeah. was so creepy. I was like, Chris, go with the door. It looked like somebody sat down, yeah. Who would have sat down on the bed? Look at that. That's like a, a butt print right there. What the hell? <gasps> Honestly, look, even the pillow is like leaned on. Yeah, but no, we were not in here. At, like, we just peeked our heads mm, in. Yeah, we have not been in this room. Well, when I came in here, I came into the living room to yeah. set my drone down and got the batteries. But anyways, this is our suite. That's creepy. Oh, our Taco Bell mess. This is a lot bigger than the room we have on the seventh floor. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's getting all freaked out. Like, Look at all the stuff that you can get. Oh, the lover's kiss. The lover's we have the sickest view as well. Uh, let me show you guys because it's right next to the sign. It's so nice. It's so nice. I did like, well, me and Tiffany did like a mini photo shoot right here. Wow. That's so cool. Really Omar wants to do a spear box session in the room maybe it's the spirit just across the hallway or the one that we may have missed that came to visit our room while we were gone that sat on the bed i didn't sit on the bed neither of us did like we don't know what that what that was so i am using an app that we all have used before there's a link down below in the description if you want to use it i believe chris has some links to it too what do you want to ask 
So I want to ask, uh, was anyone in this room while we were downstairs? It's a good question. <laughs> Why did it sound like somebody was just walking over there as soon as that went on? She's like kind of freaking out over here. <laughs> Who sat down on the bed? Can you tell us your name? John? <laughs> hmm. Something feels off about this room. Did something happen here? Hmm. Video? Scream. I heard something about I scream. I heard something about scream as well. Was Did somebody get hurt here? Are we communicating with anybody that passed away in the Roosevelt? It's like the, so many people have passed away here. Uh, there were two children that tragically drowned in the pool. Uh, about a 25 year old man also drowned in the pool. That was like just 10 years ago, right? Yeah, yeah a couple suicides. The and children were in the 50s, from what we heard. So, I stopped my camera, of course, but I kept hearing rustling in the hallway, and Omar was like, it sounds like somebody is walking. And like I said... Man, I saw what oh looked no. like a shadow of somebody walking in the hallway. And you know, Bill says he sees shadow stuff all the time. Uh, I saw it, like, right here. Right here kind of looked, yeah. Like a shadow of, of something. Well, what's weird is when we got in here originally, that bathroom light was on and the door was closed and it looked like somebody was in the bathroom. Did this bed move? Like, did it change shape or is it still the same? I think it's still the same. Okay. Yeah, but it's just weird how there's this. It looks like somebody was yeah, literally it sitting looks on like it. A butt and even the and a the, hand the print or something is like indented. Yeah. yeah. But if you step back, like when I was looking in, it looks like there's a little dark spot on the carpet. Like right there where the right there. Oh, the I see it. You see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what the hell? That's like a stain or something. This is somebody's probably supposed to be coffee here. I know it's just weird that it's right there. Yeah. Alright guys, so we are back in our room. I have to figure out where the hell I'm gonna be sleeping somewhere on this thing. Um <laughs> But thank you guys so much for coming along with us. I really hope that you enjoyed my second time here at the Hollywood Roosevelt. If you guys are ever in Hollywood and want to come and Omar oh, throwing hot sauce at me, this is this is what I get for getting you Taco Bell. If you guys are ever in Hollywood or visiting the Hollywood Roosevelt, definitely ask for Bill. He has so many amazing stories. He's been here for so many years. He showed me around when I came here a couple years ago. That's why I was able to get such bomb footage. And yeah, definitely uh, if you do come by, give them a really cool rating, a really good rating on TripAdvisor. Let them know that Bill is awesome and he needs a raise. Yeah, 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 let's give Bill a raise. But yeah, make sure you are checking out the homie, Oh My Gosh TV. Shout out to Tiffany for uh, accompanying us. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out, darlings. Bye.